your socks off here now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I see. Look at that. I am Louis Medar. I am 70 years old, and I have an unknown skin disease. So this gentleman appears to have some pretty dry, scaly, flaking skin all over his face. You can see there are different areas that have di different amounts of pigment too. Now it's possible he may have some type of atopic dermatitis, but let's watch further and see what more we see. Pull it up in sheets like this. Ugh. I think that's his foot? This is how it does all the time here. It's like a forbidden potato chip coming off his leg. So this appears to be a lot worse than just an atopic dermatitis. My gosh, could you imagine having legs like that where you can literally just peel the skin off in sheets? Let's learn a little bit more because this is definitely much more extreme than what I thought just a few minutes ago. The um, arms and my legs and my feet are the worst. On a scale of one to 10, the pain on my feet is nine or 10. Wow, this poor guy can't even hardly walk when the pain is so severe. You can see that skin is incredibly dry. Now I have dry skin in the winter time and sometimes because I have darker skin, I can look a little bit ashy, but wow, this is on a whole other level. And he's got pain associated with this. Oh yeah, I've heard that before. How are you? Dr. Lee. Nice what? to meet you. So, I have to take your socks off here now. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I see. Look at that. That's a bad problem, my guy. Now, not to make light of it, but I'm an old comic book collector. When I was a kid, I used to collect Marvel comics. And this kind of reminds me of one of my favorite superheroes back then, The Thing. The thing, basically, his body was filled with rocks on the outside, and it almost looks like that for this poor guy. Yeah. Now there's definitely a diagnosis here. This is not just dry skin, flaky skin. Most likely, one of the things I'm thinking about when I see him is a diagnosis called ichthyosis. And this is a skin disorder with exceedingly dry, flaky skin that can be inherited. Let's see what Dr. Pimple Popper thinks. This is way beyond athlete's foot or regular dry skin. He has toenails that are half an inch thick. Sure, I've seen things like this in textbooks, um, but I've never seen it in person. Well, if Dr. Lee hasn't seen this in person, that is saying a lot. I too have not seen this in person. I have seen photos of things like this in our textbooks, but wow, really, really severe. Now, what needs to be done in this situation, in my opinion, would be to take a biopsy of some of these lesions and see exactly what is going on. It's like a plate of skin here. You can peel that and you're fine? You do that all the time? I'm fine. Yes. I don't want to pull too hard. There yeah, you go. Usually, look at yeah. that hard little plate of skin. I mean, look. It's almost like it could be armor because it's so thick on the poor guy. I assume that this is something that you can just peel off all around. The one thing that that strikes me though looking at him is that his skin is so exceedingly dry and the question is is has he even been trying to moisturize it in some cases that can make a huge difference with diagnoses like ichthyosis take a bunch of vaseline and just kind of put it on your foot here and we're going to put this wet sock on here to keep the moisture in and we don't want that to get dried out so is there a real odd diagnosis here that something I don't know about? Or is this something where it's just seriously horribly dry skin that has just gone haywire? With ichthyosis, the way you treat it is you really aggressively moisturize. And one secret to locking in the moisture into your skin is after you moisturize, let's say your feet or your hands, especially when it's super cold and dry in the wintertime, put a pair of gloves over your hands or a pair of socks over your feet that can really help to lock that moisture in. Lewis is back today. I really hope that he has done some work to make his legs look better. And that work would be just being very mindful of just moisturizing the heck out of your arms and your legs, especially his legs and his feet. Now let's find out what is the exact diagnosis that Lewis is dealing with. My hunt for the secrets of healthy and glowing skin have all led me here. And I aim to find out why. I'll get to the bottom of this skincare mystery. There's no mystery here. It's just Yoon Beauty. 
Our products are packed with all the necessary ingredients that you need to help hydrate, protect, and revitalize your skin. It's really just that simple. There's no way it's that simple. I'm on to you, bub. Check out our online store at yoonbeauty.com or download the Yoon Beauty app on your phone to order yours today. Okay, so this is the surface of your skin. You see this stuff right on top here? That's hyperkeratosis, that's that scale. The right. dermatopathologist read this as an ichthyosis condition. Ichthyosis means skin that has this sort of fish or plate-like scale on it. Have you ever heard of the ichthyosaur? This is actually one of my favorite types of dinosaurs when I was real small growing up. And this is a fish-like dinosaur, and the medical term of ichthyosis comes from the same root. Now the good thing with ichthyosis is it's typically treated very conservatively. Just what Dr. Lee did with aggressive moisturization is technically the way to treat it. You can also use urea-based creams, which can help. Not urine, you don't pee on the area, urea. And there are creams that contain urea that can really help to add extra moisture and help get rid of the scaling that you're seeing with Lewis that is so, so dramatically excessive. But what's really gonna make you guys feel good is the fact that since this is acquired and not congenital, it's extremely likely that it is not hereditary. Ichthyosis can be acquired, but it also can be congenital. You can inherit this from your parents. And you can see Lewis is there with his son and his son was pretty freaked out that this could happen to him. So it sounds like he is at least out of the woods. Thank God for the young man. Lewis feels really strongly that his ichthyosis has to do with his war deployments. And I think a lot of it also has to do with the fact that he just didn't know how to take good care of his skin. And no one really maybe took the time to kind of explain it to him. Now this is really disappointing because Lewis, uh, he actually served in Desert Storm and uh, we cut this part of the video off just for brevity. And he was worried that some of this skin condition was caused by exposures when he was overseas. Now Lewis is being treated at the VA and they were not able to figure out what was going on with him, which is really sad because this is a fairly straightforward dermatologic diagnosis that ideally you would get a biopsy and find out what it is. So as somebody who has served our country, it makes me sad to hear that he did not get the care that he truly needed, and he had to go see Dr. Lee in order to get this diagnosis. Okay, so let's take a look at your foot here. Not bad, his foot, you could see, it actually looks pink now, where it was basically all white before. And the great thing is this is just taking care of his skin. This is just moisturizers, putting those socks on, locking that moisture in. I'm assuming that they did remove some more of that scale and that's something that with ichthyosis a lot of people do. Uh, but definitely very happy to see what's happened with his feet so far. Man, it looks a lot better, look at better that. Better than I've ever seen it. Your feet look spectacular. Yeah, I don't think I've seen his feet pink in over a decade. That is a really impressive result from literally just moisturizers. You gotta, gotta like that. But once again, it makes me so sad that he had to wait so long for such a simple treatment. Thank God he got to see Dr. Sandra Lee. I walk without my cane now. Do you? I have no pain. That's spectacular. I, I just been walking. Uh... Well, I'm so happy for him. As somebody who has served our country valiantly and you can see he's wearing the hat he's proud of it i'm so happy that he has been able to get the help that he needed and that it didn't involve painful surgery or any other invasive procedures well lewis's problem is quite severe but there was a gentleman that dr sandra lee treated with a problem much worse than lewis's can you imagine a huge mass hanging from the end of your nose about this big and a second one hanging from that Yes, there was a gentleman in this video that I reacted to from Dr. Pimple Popper with the worst case of rhinophyma I have ever seen. Take a peek at it right up here. You are going to be blown away. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and always auto-juvenate before you operate. I have that effect on people.